So here it is, Pavel from London uh, with his mad carbon fiber uh, beast board uh, that actually runs on the batteries in your backpack. Beast on the leash. Leash video. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome to my workshop where I build electrical skateboards and share all the information I've got and all the findings that I've got and gadgets with you guys. So, I wanted to uh, cover a couple of things to do uh, with you today guys. Uh, it is 5 o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> I had to take someone to the airport and on the way back I was doing all my Instagramming and Facebook and whatever not because I got friends all over the world and sometimes they up and they got daytime when I'm still uh, in the night time which is awesome actually so you always have got, have got someone to uh, talk to which is nice anyway so uh, for starters guys thank you very much for all the uh, positive comments and uh, all the appreciation uh, about my videos uh, it means a lot it really does I don't do this for profit I don't do it for money, I just do it for fun of it and also I really like helping people. If I know something, I will always share it with you. Uh, if you noticed, I already got enough subscribers to start monetizing on my channel, but I don't. I don't want you to be going through all these boring uh, ads and stuff, so it doesn't bother. Anyway, so what I want to talk about, guys, is a conversation when uh, a little bit about uh, uh, the board or the type of the uh, battery uh, that I have recently uh, came up with and uh, built it and tested it. And um, Ace from Baltimore, all right, brother, uh, just um, followed my steps. There was other couple of people who followed my steps, but uh, never gave me the credit, which is fine. It's all out there. It's a uh, it's a freebie info uh, and ideas. Um, and uh, he he just followed uh, my recipe of the leash, just to um. Uh, explain what the leash actually is so um, if you know I've built this uh, beautiful uh, beast on the leash uh, board it's a uh, all-terrain really powerful 7000 watt board running on 12s AT tires well, I've done a couple of modifications, colors, trample uh, tires, uh, carbon fiber deck. Uh, what I'll do is, guys, I'll leave the video to this board uh, uh, in the description below. You can take a look what this board is all about and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's changed a little bit color-wise, but nothing major. It's still pretty much the same, same parts used. So take a look, you might be interested. And the, the big difference uh, with between this board and any other board is that you can see uh, there is no actual battery and the reason for it and the reason for it guys is that I came up with this um, idea of actually having a connection on the uh, ESC or VESC enclosure which is external so you can choose how you want to power your board so I have um, uh, came up with um, battery pack on the deck and this is the, uh, the cable that connects it to uh, my EC. Uh, you might have let's say a battery pack underneath the deck which is fine but if you would have an external uh, connection you could easily uh, use this idea of the leash so that's pretty much a battery in your backpack so it goes in the backpack um, and yeah batteries are in and then you got this uh, umbilical cord or the leash I call it and that gets plugged in straight into your EC. Just like that. So the benefits are, is that if you have a uh, battery that's fixed to your board, you can go for a ride, you can do your, whatever your battery gives you, five, seven, ten miles, and then if you run out and you still want to carry on enjoying yourself, uh, you got yourself the the backpack with additional battery and you just unplug the battery on the board plug in this battery in your bag and off you go 
there are obviously things you need to consider. You are tied uh, to the board with umbilical cords, so you can't just jump off. Uh, well, you can. If you jump off uh, the board, the umbilical cord will just unplug. It's an XT90 uh, spark, uh, sparkless XT90. Well, take a look at the video in the description, guys. It's it's much more detailed. But anyway, so you pretty much can extend your uh, riding uh, uh, mileage with this system. So, yeah. So that's what the umbilical cord is all about. So when you see all the new posts of uh, different people uh, doing this kind of uh, bag, uh, batteries in the bag, and uh, they refer to the cable as a, uh, a leash, well, that's where this came from. Uh, yeah, I had this mad idea, and it, it works. Um, one thing I wanted to uh, mention to everyone, Ace, listen carefully, you're using this system now, and any other people who want to follow this system. Um, uh, one of my friends on Facebook uh, did mention to me that um, there is a uh, video uh, somewhere out there uh, of some RC bloke uh, who is talking about extending the battery cables and talking about all the dangers that comes with it. So pretty much uh, if you extend the cables, uh, you got uh, power going through the cables and your motor is actually taking the power by pulse. Yeah, this is how the uh, motors on... Um, our boards operate so it's like a constant back and forth movement through your cables uh, from the battery to your motors and if you extend the cables what they're saying is that it puts pressure onto uh, uh, the com compas uh, capacitors uh, in your ESC and that could in the long run damage your uh, VESCO ESC uh, it does sound logical uh, it does sound like yet yeah, that can happen and I'm not going to argue with that. I'm not a genius. I'm not <laughs> some sort of electronics engineer. I'm just a guy who does things and tests them. So I've got 200 amp rated EC and I'm only pulling 120, 140 amp. So I believe I've got 60 amp uh, of play uh, over there. Also, the EC I'm using, which is by the way uh, a Flipsky 6.6 Plus. I got a full review. I will leave the uh, video uh, in the comments or the link to the video in the comments. You can take a look. So, <clears throat> my thoughts were that uh, yes, if you got your VESC that is, uh, let's say, 100 amp rated, and you are pulling 100 amp, and now you extended the uh, the cable from the battery to the EEC, you pretty much got no space for any movement, and that can potentially uh, damage your VESC or EEC. Uh, I've got EC that is 800 amp rated for 3 seconds, so the spike of 800 amp will not harm this EC. So I got a massive gap, I think, I don't know, I, I could be wrong guys, uh, don't don't take my words for us 100%, this is how all this works, you know, people go out there, listen, read and uh, come up with your own, listen to all different ideas and uh, come up with your own, and this is how I do it. Uh, the only thing I can say that I've been running this system for a while now. Uh, I've probably done about two, three hundred miles with the system, and I got no issue. But I don't want you guys to get stuck with the blown EC because uh, of this extending of the cable. So please be careful. Yeah. So word out there that extending cables from battery to the EC could harm your motor speed controller. I don't know if it's true. I'm fine. But anyway, you, you need to be aware. So, just to finish this video, that's it really. Just a quick catch up and shout out to uh, my fans. Thank you very much again for your uh, appreciation of my videos, of my uh, time I'm putting into all this. And uh, yeah, ride safely. Uh, yeah, just be safe, really, in general. Uh, I've got tons of um, uh, safety advice videos on my channel like the gear I'm wearing, the helmets I'm wearing, the knee pads I'm wearing, the gloves I'm wearing, and bits and pieces, take a look if you wish to, share my videos, that will definitely help me. Uh, well, it won't help me, it will help other people out there who are not aware of my channel and who are not aware that I've got 210 videos covering everything you can think of uh, regarding the electrical skateboarding and more. <laughs> and you know it. Um, and. Just to finish off, I'm going to show you how I actually built uh, this umbilical cord. So this is an older video. The video was filmed when uh, before I even got the uh, beast to uh, run. 
and uh, maybe that will uh, yeah help you to understand what I've done here. So as you guys know, my board is called the Beast on the Leash. So let's build that leash. I'm gonna show you. I'm not going to show you the whole process. It's quite simple. I'm going to explain to you what I've done. So this here is the leash. This is the uh, umbilical cord, if you wish. That is the connection between the battery pack and the board itself. It does consist of two cables and the outer sheathing. Uh, this outer sheathing is actually a really strong PVC uh, sleeve for uh, high voltage cables. It is very, very, very strong. You cannot rip it, guys. This is really strong. And this is why I want to use it, because it's going to give the strength to this uh, leash. Inside I've got high quality silicone cables which are rated up to 200 degrees Celsius and also they are 10 gauge so can take a lot of power through them which is quite good. What's going to be connected on one of the side of these is the uh, Tunigy watt meter and power analyzer rated up to 180 amp obviously the batteries themselves the other side goes onto the board with the connector and there's one interesting part that i also have that i'm going to use and that is the 3d printed and even named as you can see is my name right on it pavel very nice and this is here uh this here is the security lock uh, for the connection it's perfectly designed to house an XT90 connector after it's actually connected and it is lockable we should have no screws in the hinges yet but this is the way it's going to be so after the connection is made the lock goes over that is so neat and I know that that connection between the batteries and my board is not going to come loose but I'll cover that in more detail in the video when board is ready and I'm going to introduce you to the beast on the leash ride safely and anyway by the way follow me on Instagram guys just type in my name in Instagram I do upload different content there and I always upload a uh, thumbnail for my new video so if you're not subscribed or you're not really following YouTube, uh, you can always see on Instagram if I'm coming up with a new video. Some of them are different and I'm expanding as well. I'm doing different videos now. I'm doing uh, some cool tech stuff, uh, headphones, whatever. Whatever is related to my hobby and my interests. The next one will be is a new on the market, uh, Claris 100 uh, Lumen rear safety light that's quite cool actually then you to open that up and charge it but i'm gonna start videoing it uh that hopefully this weekend anyway that's it sorry for taking so long see you later bye bye